Hans this says he's off. seen too many movies. Uh, you're from a bankrupt culture. Well, this, th- this, is, <laughs> this is a really important scene, mm-hmm. right? First of all, he calls him, and he is so annoying. And I say that as a compliment, right? It, 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 in some ways, it kind of predicts trolling, right? The way Hans, he like looks at the radio in his hand once he realizes he is dealing with the sort of the American everyman and how annoying this is. And we have this great conversation, which sets up my main point about this movie, right? Which is that this movie is the blueprint for a heavily contingent white cishet, but sort of culturally default due to those hegemonies. This is 90s masculinity, right? And so what it's being confronted with is some smug Euro trash going, Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne. And in order to like incorporate and respond to those anxieties that American culture might be bankrupt and might only have movies and John Wayne who is ridiculous and Schwarzenegger and Stallone, right? The response is irony. He he says, I always preferred Roy Rogers. And if you don't know who Roy Rogers is, he's the singing cowboy. Um it's sort of like sequin shirted, white suited, troubadourish joke. Like he's sort of like very PG. Um, Roy Rogers got in like gunfights, but like barely. And it's it's very interesting, right? Because I think you can make a, a draw a and I use this word very precisely straight line from guy who is surprised when a guy kisses him, but is willing to sort of like bait someone else by talking about wearing sequin shirts to the kind of sort of homophobic but ironic defensive posture of like the 2000s and Abercrombie and Fitch and all of that shit. And I think part of the reason why there is so much irony around is because this recast the whole of what American masculinity was supposed to be in the 90s to be ironic and sarcastic and referential to different movies. Interesting. I, I I honestly think this is like the sort of like, uh, you know, prehistoric creature that predicts the evolution of Marvel. Um, God, you mm. you might be right. Alice analysis. That's that's my theory. That's my Alice analysis. Um, yeah. um, we do get the famous line where Bruce Willis uh, says "Yippee ki yay, motherfucker." Um, yes, and that's a fucking synthesis, is what that is, right? Because Yippie Kaye, folks, is Roy Rogers playing a banjo, riding off into the sunset. Whereas if you like, and then you add motherfucker to it, which is like the, sort of the one heavy swear you are allowed in like an 80s action movie, like Schwarzenegger might get to say that to a guy who is also as big as him and shirtless before he impaled him with a pipe. It'd be like motherfucker. Like once you weld those two together, that's, that's a fucking dialectical synthesis is what that is. And that's like, oh, the new thing is... Uh, like it, it contains the seeds of both of these, but is like in opposition to both of them internally. That's what that is. Um, the LAPD yeah. arrive. Yeah. <laughs> the LAPD arrive. The LAPD arrive and they're dipshits. 